Namaste. Good morning. Welcome to this moment. Welcome to the here and now. This morning, I'd like to just share with you a little bit about how to overcome excessive thinking. I had uh, a very insecure boyfriend of a young lady that I've just chatted with a couple times messaging me this morning. And he was saying, uh, you better tell me what you're doing talking to my girl or I'm gonna tell your wife you've been fucking around or doing this and I I um, <laughs> I want to I want to talk to you about how to alleviate or relieve some of these excessive thoughts these thoughts that are creating anxiety worry insecurity and fear because I've been there and I've had those ex past experiences that were miserable and uh, I want to help you today overcome those things I can tell you right now one of the first meditations that you can do just to begin to feel a little taste, have a little taste of what it might feel like to be free of the burden of overthinking, of excessive thought, was just to go outside and uh, see the birds. Look at the birds. Just view a bird. Find a bird. Doesn't matter whether you live in the city or where you live, you can typically find a bird here where we live out here in Virginia, there are birds everywhere and just soaring through the sky and tripping and landing and woodpeckers and cardinals and just you name it. But you just go find a bird and observe it flying through the air. Not a care in the world. Nothing weighing it down. It's just effortlessly soaring on the wind. Just moving like the spirit. The wind blows where it wishes, and it's just blowing this bird as it just is allowing the wind to take it on this journey. And this is a picture of living without excessive thinking. Excessive thinking acts like you're carrying a backpack full of a thousand pounds. If you have a lot of thoughts going on, it wears you down. You come home from work, and your kids are like, hey, what's for dinner? Ah! They give me five minutes and it's just because you've spent your whole day thinking and overthinking and carrying those thoughts and every one of those thoughts is like a half a pound or like a pound, you know, and over the course of the day it adds up. Without one of those thoughts, no big deal, but over the course of the day it feels like by the time your day's over that you're carrying around 10,000 pounds of burdens and you just need to decompress you know like give me some time and so what you might do is you might cut on the TV TV is not helping you decompress TV is helping you try to forget about it the problem is all of those thoughts are hanging out in that subconscious they're hanging out behind the scenes and it's almost like okay we're gonna veil these thoughts we're gonna pretend like they're not there and if I pretend like they're not there long enough eventually I won't feel them the truth is you're just getting used to what it feels like to carry around a thousand pounds. As a, uh, I, my dietary preference is vegan. And so I, as a, uh, somebody who eats a, a diet, a vegan diet, I often will talk to people about that. I might do some later videos on it. And people often say, I could never eat like a vegan. They say, well, I feel great on my diet anyway. And I said, well, have you ever eaten like a vegan? Have you ever eaten clean? They said no. And I said, well, how do you know that you feel great? If you've only ever eaten the one way, then you've just gotten used to how you feel this way. How do you know you can't feel better? And I'm going to tell you the same thing. How do you know that you're not just used to carrying around all these burdens, all these thoughts? You don't. The answer is you don't know until you begin to practice. And so some of the very first things that I do in our mindfulness classes is I begin to teach uh, Zazen, which is uh, a form of meditation. I've been doing it for years. Um, 
unbeknownst to me, actually it's taught within some Zen traditions as well, or at least a form of it. I'm not going to talk to you about that today. We don't have enough time. You can go check out a mindfulness class. We have one starting in September. But um, what you what within those meditation practices, the entire purpose is, and I'm going to tell you what the purpose is. The purpose is to learn to observe your thoughts without judgments. The very first and the most basic purpose is to observe thoughts without judgments. And when you first begin to observe thoughts or the practice of sitting meditation, what ends up happening is you're like, whoa, I didn't realize I had so many crazy, bizarre thoughts running through my head constantly. Those thoughts are keeping you or hindering you from being present or from touching this present moment. I also have a lot of people that are like, but man, I'm experiencing the present moment. And I say, do you want to experience it more deeply? So I ask you, do you want to experience this moment in a deeper way than you ever have before? There's always more depth. I want you to touch this moment deeply and intimately like you never have before. And in order to do so, we have to learn to observe thoughts without judgment. The problem is, almost every thought that goes through your head is attached to some form of judgment. You're walking down the street, a woman walks past you, and you're like, oh my God, look at that outfit. That thought is attached to a judgment. Oh my God, she looks goofy, or she, she needs to go to a better store, or my God, what is she thinking? There's so much judgment, and those judgments, each one of those judgments are a weight. The thought in, themsel in, in itself is not a weight. The thought in itself is like a cloud passing through the sky. Observe it. If you're out one day and it's a beautiful day and you're watching clouds, you watch them pass by and it doesn't add any weight to your life. Thoughts are that way. You can literally learn how to watch your thought, observe it, watch it simply pass through your mind and not judge it. You don't need to agree with a thought or disagree with a thought. You don't need to grab a hold of the thought and take it as your own. Instead, just observe it without judgment. The more that you practice this observance without judgment, the less weight you'll carry. So you have those thoughts that go through your head, and they're just thoughts. Oh, there, there it is. But I'm not agreeing. I'm not disagreeing. I'm not fighting with those thoughts. I'm not trying to get rid of those thoughts. I'm just observing them without judgment. And instead of now, I feel like that monkey swinging from branch to branch through the trees, now, instead of that, I actually am just feel like an observer. I'm observing thoughts, no judgment. And when you recognize there's some weight or there's something you're carrying physically or emotionally, it's because you're making some form of judgment about a thought. And that thought is about a person, a lover, a friend, a coworker, somebody maybe you don't even know on social media that doesn't like you. Who knows? But you are agreeing with those thoughts. And it's as if those thoughts have become a part of your very nature. And so the very first thing to recognize before you can even begin to observe thoughts without judgment is this one thing. I'm going to leave you with this. You are not your thoughts. Thoughts come from a whole lot of sources. But you are not your thoughts. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing good or evil, good or bad, right or wrong with your thoughts. They're just thoughts that are passing through your mind. Observe them. Matter of fact, you can learn to enjoy observing them. And then practice observing without judgment. I hope this helps. If you want more information, please uh, reach out to me. I'd be happy to uh, assist you. Also, drop whatever comments or questions you have below. And uh, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. I love you guys so much. Thanks for being here with me in this moment. Remember, the more you awaken, the more you play.